catching them fish. I'm tied down. Fucking anchor was too short. What? I'm out here. Okay, this is regular with no stabilizers. You have to keep your balance. Alto ahí, eh. <risa> Pero no, ya. ¿Eh? Ya. Ya, la ola grande por abajo se siente. Okay, over here. About to do a test run on the canoe. I uh, made the side stabilizer for it. So uh let's see how it goes. Well, for the first test run, with the stabilizer. Even though I lost a couple screws, so it's really not going to be that stable. Oh, you see? Yeah. Because uh, the screws are missing, it's not really going to be that stable. No, it's because you've had a longer path. Yeah, it's definitely stable, way more stable. I got some stand up now.
Okay, let's try this one more time. Definitely way, way stable, way more stable. Hello. <laughs> yeah, now the stabilizers are definitely doing their job. Yeah, you can stand now without a problem. Before that was the issue. I definitely have to build like a mold. If anything, I, I'm gonna get like a, like moldable plastic and mold some like covers for it with the tips. It's a work in progress, but it. Uh, it's gonna make it more cool. Yeah. And then coat it with something on the outside. Yeah. It'll work. Okay. This is a video update of the canoe. Then I ended up making these seats. Just with some uh, plywood. As you can see some hinges. Then I took uh, padding. Filled it in with padding and then uh, covered it with pleather. Just some pleather I had. Tucked it all in the back. I made the stabilizers.
from uh, scrap metal I had. I bought these noodles. They were uh, six dollars at Walmart. Get the middle seat. And I also did the front seat which uh, swivels all the way around and also folds forward. I made uh, 11 fishing pole mo um, holders from uh, some PVC piping. Just ended up cutting it and uh, heating it up, bending it. I have 11 of those all around. And not bad for a free canoe. I made um, an anchor from uh, some scrap metal. Uh, this is uh, from a, uh, I was trying to forge uh, the Spartan sword and in its uh, fragile state it cracked on me. It just broke. So I turned it into an anchor, the chain, I took uh, some PVC piping, then I took some of this, um, uh, some of the noodle, and uh, 100 feet of uh, 50, po uh, 50 pound line, yeah, it works. Let me see. So far I'm into this canoe. It was um, $70 for uh, the Minkota motor. I got it off of Craigslist. Um, it was uh, $9 for the, the pleather. And um, the hinges, it was um, about $3 each. Uh, the wood I had it uh, just lying around as well as the PVC piping so that didn't cost anything um, the noodles were uh, are um, uh, about six dollars at Walmart so that's twelve dollars for that so that's 82 plus nine is 91 oh it started coming down on me 91 then it was uh seven dollars for the 100 foot rope so that's uh 98 dollars uh the paddles came out to 25 dollars each so that's 50 dollars Okay, so that's 148. So so far, I'm into it for 148 dollars. Not bad. I made sure to make the stabilizers perfectly level with the bottom of the canoe that way I get as much stability as possible okay and works <laughs>